Hi fans of high quality entertainment, welcome to my channel. Remember to thumbs up the video and subscribe. You know, don't you, I don't know, for me personally, uh, the one thing I do like, well hopefully more than one thing, that I like about my YouTube channel is for the most part, I don't put on an act, I'm just me. I hope you guys appreciate it out there. I think that's what some people like about Molly and I when we're together. And she's going to be here next week, by the way. We're, she's she'll be here on next Tuesday. And so we'll probably have a video on Wednesday. And anyway, getting back to what I was saying. What was I saying? I forget. I'm going to be doing some unboxings here once I shut up. No, but I think most of you, I think, like the fact that we're pretty authentic. We're, you know, we're not, we're just real. We're real people. I'm a real person. I see some channels and they're, they're just, I don't know, it's like they're putting on a show. I'm not putting on a show. I'm just doing a video. <laughs> so, uh, I make myself laugh once in a while. So I have bought three new CDs and two two t-shirts and I think you're going to be impressed with the t-shirts unless you're not a fan of the bands. So the first one is, and I got these at Sunrise Records by the way. I've never actually listened to the music of The Cure but I know it's pretty hip to actually wear a Cure t-shirt, so I bought it. No, I love the Cure. Uh, uh, yeah, I just, I was thinking of something else to add to it. I just love the Cure, Mo most of their songs. They're, uh, some of the, they're kind of like the, the Smiths, like half of their songs I absolutely love and the other half uh, are kind of boring to me. But the, the ones I love by The Smiths and The Cure, I really love. Now this one, I think some of you are going to really be impressed with. No, it's not a Nickelback t-shirt. Good guess, though. That's right. It's the Beach Boys Pet Sounds. And that re really is not one of the greatest album covers. Uh, but, of course, it is one of the greatest albums. So I will be proud to wear this in future videos. And uh, if I remember, I might forget, <laughs> at the end of this video, uh, I mentioned I was reorganizing my CD collection, which every few months it gets all disorganized and CDs all over the place. And so I will kind of slowly go through and you can kind of see what I have at the moment, including these three new CDs. Now this is a, uh, I guess th this is the latest version of the Rolling Stones Baker's Banquet. And I honestly I've heard this before. I love Street Fighting Man, Sympathy for the Devil, and the rest of it, I honestly, I need to really listen to this. So that's why I bought this. I'm going to finally really listen. I love Sticky Fingers. Exile on Main Street, not quite as much, but Sticky Fingers is awesome. And, you know, uh, their early 70s albums like uh, Some Girls and Emotional Rescue and Tattoo You. So that is the original. No, that isn't. That isn't the original cover. It's the one the company, because the company did not like. There it is. That's the original cover. Company saw that and said, no. No, I, I've never owned this on vinyl, so is that the original fold? I don't know if it, I don't, I never owned it on vinyl, but I think I've, I've seen it in vinyl. I don't know if it opened like that or not. So maybe somebody can let me know. But that's a cool, cool picture. Now 
their London label, Stereophon, not just stereo, Stereophon. So this was released last year, of course, once again remastered. And uh, so looking forward to really listening to this album. And I had this before, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to buy it again, and I'm really, because I do, I love the Rolling Stones. Let it bleed. Now, tell me, you Rolling Stones fans, between these two, which one do you like more? I know you probably, if you're a Rolling Stones fan, you think they're both great, but between the two. Because the songs on this one that I know are Midnight Rambler, of course, especially the live version, but the studio version I, I love, and Gimme Shelter. Although I, I love Grand Funk Railroad's version of it too. And the rest of it, um, I need to listen to it. I, I keep forgetting to tell my viewers because I, I am, like I said, with bad grammar and negative comments and trying to not focus on that so much, even though I receive, you know, a, a handful of bad comments every day. One or two that actually hurt my feelings. But when I did it, uh, on Canada Day, which was July 1st here, I did a playlist for Spotify to share with all my YouTube viewers. And it was, you know, like, I guess, maybe an hour of really rocking Canadian songs that would not necessarily all be familiar to my audience unless they were Canadian. And this one guy who was also a Facebook friend, not that I really knew him, he, he, his comment was, where the hell is Gordon Lightfoot? Which I took as kind of rude. And so I mentioned that. I replied back and he said, it's not rude. I'm just asking. It's like, well, your tone is really rude. So I blocked him. It's like, I, you know, it's like somebody coming into your, into your home and just, where's Gordon Lightfoot? Plus, Gordon Lightfoot, although he's a great talent, he doesn't necessarily rock. <laughs> and that, that's what my playlist was, but it's like, uh, <laughs> just some people just annoy me. I love this. Let's get back to the Rolling Stones and I'll stop whining. I love that album cover and the back cover. And this was released not that long ago, well, 2002. I'm sure they'll come up with the uh, another remastered version, but I'll be happy with this one. You don't need to hear every tick, 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 and boom, boom, boom. Look at that label. That's a cool label. I would love to do, say a ramble, I would love to do a video on some of my favorite record labels, but there's so many of them. I don't care for this booklet, though. It's kind of like just kind of tossed together. And, you know, when they do, do, I mean, it's the Rolling Stones. Like, have a halfway decent booklet for me to scan for all of my viewers. And it says DSD remastered, whatever DSD means. I'm not technical. So that's those two. And one more. It's a Rolling Stones CD or album that I, I've heard many, well, not many times, but I've heard. I kind of pretty much know what it sounds like. But I've never had it on vinyl. I've never had it on CD. Can you guess what it is? No. And I love this album cover too. Get your yeah yeahs out. Talking about the Midnight Rambler. Awesome version on this of Midnight Rambler. 
security tabs I love. I love security tabs. I don't know what it is about security tabs, but I just love them. And once again, they, <laughs> they go on the cheap side. But, you know, really, it's all, it's mainly about the music anyway. So that's it. And uh, I'll show you my, and I do my, I know most people probably don't have them in order like I do. For instance, with Paul McCartney, I think some of you would have him under M for McCartney, but I have him under P. I go with the first name of solo artist. Just and it's not that big a deal. And, and some of the, you know, for instance, with Paul McCartney, they might not be in exact order of release. I'm not that picky. Uh, but, you know, it's nice to have them in order again, so I will show you. And the top, I counted, had 67 CDs. I'm not going to count them all, but 6, 12, 18, 24, 32. I would say I have over 400 CDs, maybe close to 500. But I know some of you might think, oh, that's a big CD collection. But I see people, they have like thousands of CDs or vinyl records. So this is really just probably a bit below average for a CD collection. So here we go. And these are the uh, remixed versions of the S CDs by Stephen Wilson. They're excellent. I just listened to Tales from Topographic Oceans last night for the first time in months. And it really is worth the effort, if you're a Yes fan and haven't totally gotten into the album yet, to just play it and play it. And you will. There's beautiful, great music in it. Is it padded a little bit? Yes, but it's still awesome music. So here we go. And I need to get uh, Cahoots by the band. That's the only one that I haven't seen in the record stores. The Beatles. All the Black Sabbath, Ozzy, the Oyster Cult, all of their Columbia record albums. The only Bob Dylan CD I, I own. I like other Bob Dylan songs, but this is the only album of his that I've totally always loved. Uh, the Buckinghams, Canned Heat, Captain Beefheart. I need more, I need to get Cosmos Factory again. Uh, of course, lots of David Bowie. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. A lot, all, basically all of the David Bowie studio albums. And live albums. There's a real gl glare of but the doors and lots of Frank Zappa not everything but a lot of Frank Zappa CDs Grand Funk Railroad Genesis Lou Reed, his two box sets. So basically everything by Lou Reed. Great Canadian band, the Northern Pikes. Patti Smith Group, Paul McCartney. And of course I have some box sets in my bedroom, you know, like the Sgt. Pepper box set and some of the McCartney box sets. They're up in the storage in my bedroom. Queen, I need to get a bit more Queen. 
Rod Stewart. Rolling Stones. Sparks. Lots of the sparks. Steppenwolf. Super Tramp, Crime of the Century. Great album. 10CC, Them, with Van Morrison, of course. The Tragically Hip. The Tubes, Van Morrison. Starting my Van Morrison collection. And then, and I do have Who's Next, it's just not there. And then lots of Yes. Small Faces. There's my Beatles from the box set. Ram. And these are just albums that don't fit in the uh, CD. Beatles Wade album. Yoko Ono. Another one by, uh, another remix by Stephen Wilson. And another one. Yes, Relayer, remixed. My favorite Yoko Ono album. Frank Zappa. Four CDs, live. Pretenders, In Through the Outdoor, which won't fit in with all the other ones. FFS, Sparks with Franz Ferdinand, which I can never say, can't eat. Physical graffiti. The, the nice little booklet for the Blue Easter Cult, Columbia. And this is excellent. I, I'm sorry, I was supposed to do a review, but I just never get around to it. This is an excellent CD by Wilkerson. If you like the Beatles, check him out. Really impressive stuff. Wilkerson, I highly recommend. And that's it. Um, yeah. That's about it. I'm done. What more do you want? Thanks for watching. Bye.